What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. I'm Keegan and today we're going to be doing a review of EHP Labs Blessed Protein. Now, Blessed Protein is something that many of y'all might have heard about by this point in time. Uh, from what I know, they've been doing a lot of uh, push on social media. A lot of various influencers have been uh, touting their product and really pushing it and sort of saying how great it is and how good it tastes and how fantastic the macros are. But today, we're going to be breaking it down and seeing what it's really all about. So we're going to try to keep the rules pretty simple and consistent here. So uh, how we're going to be doing this is it's just going to be one guy. We're gonna have one shaker cup filled with one cup of water. Water is consistent, you know, easy to get, you know, not something that's gonna be very different from one place to another. So it's a pretty easy way to compare one thing to the next. And I don't have to worry about the consistency of say milk or almond milk or soy milk and having a consistent brand all throughout the entirety of testing. So it makes life a lot easier from one video to the next, comparing one protein to the next if they're all mixed with water. So we're gonna mix it one cup of water, one scoop of protein. We're gonna shake it for 20 seconds. They're all gonna get the exact same treatment. I am even going to have a timer going. We're even gonna have a timer going so that we can make sure that it is indeed shaken for 20 seconds. No more, no less. We're all gonna get the exact same treatment. That way I can make some judgment calls based on certain things like mixability, taste, consistency, uh, those sorts of things. Um, I'm also gonna try to keep it pretty consistent on the things I judge it on. Uh, but other than that, I think it's just time we jump right on in. No sense in wasting time and energy here. So uh, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna start shaking and then we're gonna get this party started. So let's, uh, let's break out the protein, shall we? Oh, and for the sake of consistency here, I'm gonna make sure that the protein is not shaken or mixed up before I actually do the taste. And you're gonna get it live, direct, right to your faces so you can see exactly what I'm thinking and like get it right off the top of my head. Uh, and we're also gonna talk a little bit about, you know, the macros and the company a little bit if we got some time. But again, we're gonna try to keep this pretty simple because I know what you're here for, you're here for the protein. So without further ado, let's mix the protein. A few moments later. And that'll do that. All right, so. For those of y'all who are curious about what we've got in this cup, this is, like I mentioned, less protein, but specifically kind of like you'll see in the, the picture right over here, this is the strawberry milk flavor. Milk. With a Y. Like English, right? Anyhow, uh, let's, let's crack into this. Uh, I have my reservations and my concerns because it's a plant-based protein, but I'll save those and we'll just we'll get right into it and see if any of it tracks. And if if they do, you're gonna hear about it. All right. Okay, let's let's go again. Let's go again. Let's, let's, This is basically everything that I hoped it wouldn't be. <sighs> All right. Um, <sighs> first thing that I notice is the texture, which is it has a grittiness. Uh, if you've had plant-based protein in the past and you didn't like or notice that sort of like um, sort of sandy kind of consistency in it, whey protein mixes smooth, and so you'll end up with you know maybe some of them are thicker than others but for the most part it's a very smooth very like consistent uniform kind of taste and feeling in your mouth this is neither for both the taste has a weird sort of double whammy effect and so does the consistency so let me take it through take take you through it step by step um yeah so first thing you get is that sort of like you get a smoothness at first and I'm assuming that's down to the creamer they use which I think is like a soy based creamer let's let's take a quick look down here really 
You're not going to tell me anything about it? Specifically? Where's my where's my ingredient list breakdown? Nothing? All right. Basically, you get that sort of like creaminess to start off with. It's, it's, it's kind of there. It's very light. And then the first thing that hits you right after that is sort of like you get the first wave of that sort of sandiness. It's like pea sand lapping up on the shore that is the back of your throat. And that's a nasty analogy, and that's just exactly how I feel like it should be. It's just, it's not pleasant. And yeah, it, it just, it just deserves that. It deserves exactly what, what it got from that nasty, that nasty comparison. So texture-wise, it's a very mixed bag. You have some of that sort of like smoothness, creaminess, wateriness, and you also have that sandiness, and the sandiness doesn't go away. Somewhere in their marketing speak on their website, they talk a big game about how there's no grittiness. Why are you gonna lie like that? Don't lie to us like that. That's, that's total bullshit, and you know it's bullshit. Stop feeding us bullshit that you know is bullshit whoever said there's no greatness to this either they lied or their mouth is broken uh, um, flavor wise um, so the strawberry milk um, flavoring um, it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be but that doesn't really do it a lot of favors because I mean pea protein doesn't really taste good I don't I don't know if you've tasted pea protein before but it tastes like dirt. And again, I swear somewhere in their marketing speak, they talked about how this is so delicious and you're not gonna believe it. It's unfair how good this is. There's absolutely no dirt-like flavor in there at all. Bullshit. You taste that pea protein, that sort of like, that sort of earthy, groundy flavor, that sort of like dirt-like flavor is in there, for sure. This sort of menacing back taste you get from like the, the sort of fake strawberry flavor, which I'm not a fan of, and it doesn't sneak up very quickly. It sort of hits you at right, right at the end. It's way in the back end. It really sits far back, but it's there for sure. It's 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 not it's not gone. All right, it's not hidden entirely. Um, better than some strawberry flavors I've tasted, but they called this unfairly delicious on the website. Lie, straight up lies. So we're coming in at 23 grams of protein. So let's start here. For the macros, we're coming in at 23 grams of protein. We're coming in at three grams of fat. We're coming in at, uh, and it's one gram of saturated fat, uh, five grams of carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, uh, 380 milligrams of sodium, uh, 40 milligrams of calcium, 60 milligrams of potassium, six milligrams of iron. Um, I don't, I honestly don't see why I would pick this protein. I really, don't the flavor really isn't that good um the the texture is is not good either it's it's still gritty it's it's i mean it's better than some but it's definitely not what they sell it as they very much overhyped it and i think that's part of why i'm gonna slap this back to ground level as hard as i'm going to with the rating um and the macros aren't really that great either 23 grams per scoop is kind of trash like most of their brands coming in like 30, 28, 26, 27, 25 being a pretty low bar on a whey protein isolate. And then you're coming in with your vegan proteins at 23 and you're acting like you're some king because of that. I mean, you have not earned a crown and you do not deserve to wear it if you have it on your head with these kinds of macros, these kinds of flavor profiles, and this kind of consistency and texture. So, nope, nope. I'm going to give this one a... This one's getting... A D plus. I'm gonna give y'all a D plus. I mean, I'll modify it at some point in time in the future if I feel like others come in so low that I have to shift the bell curve just to accommodate the fact that they're so garbage. But let's be real. I'm very unimpressed by this. I don't like the flavor. I don't like the texture. I'm really not about it. I'm drinking it mostly because I've already mixed it up. And hey, you might as well not waste protein. It's protein, so get it in. Um, so I'm gonna finish this. But as you can probably tell, not a big fan.
yeah, this makes drinking protein a chore. Um, so I wouldn't do this uh, if, if I had the option uh, between it and another one. Um, one I have particularly in mind. And I'll do a review on that one too because I actually have it in, in the house at some point. So in the future, uh, I will do more reviews, plant-based, plant-based protein reviews, and I'll also do, you know, whey isolated protein reviews maybe concentrates whatever you know the the door is wide open um but hey if there's any proteins or other supplements that you want to see me do reviews for go ahead throw them in the comment section let me know uh, i'll be more than happy to scour through all the comments see what you guys are saying and uh, use that to kind of gear the content going forward so you guys have control over what you see coming up might as well exercise that control right hope you guys found something in informative or useful in there um i i mean i wish i got more out of this than hopefully you got out of this uh but nonetheless this is a service i'm i'm here to serve you guys so uh, i hope you got something out of it and if you did i'm happy that you got something out of this even if it's at my expense so uh make sure you guys throw in some comments down below like the video if you find it useful like it if you enjoyed it uh, also subscribe and hit the bell join the galaxy and be notified of all of our future videos uh that's going to be really helpful with the algorithm so make sure that you do that for us i'll also put all of my social media stuff just in this area as well as down in the description of the video uh, and uh, of course make sure that you guys stay shining because the galaxy is only a bigger and brighter place if we all shine together all right peace <laughs>